I'd just like to welcome Minister Peter Burke here today um, and also to Senator Eileen Flynn for bringing, us, bringing this topic here for us to debate today. It's a very important topic. Um, people in the travelling community face so many challenges and especially in this time of COVID and as has been mentioned, the high levels of unemployment, uh, really challenging health outcomes and particularly then when they're trying to access accommodation in the private sector. Um, there is discrimination in our society, and particularly for minority groups. Um, many families are living in precarious conditions, um, especially from a travelling background, and there's short-term housing and there's lack of public housing. These are all issues we're very familiar with. I mean, I'm very happy to see, Minister, that the government has allocated 21.3 million, as you've noted, for 2021, and that this is an increase. However, you've also noticed that it falls short. Um, in terms of just the recent census, I suppose I wanted to look at the figures. So I went back to 2016 and I saw that overall, do you know, there's nearly 500,000 households that rent in Ireland. Um, and you know, there's over 143,000 renting in local authorities. And then I was looking particularly at, say, rental in rural and urban areas. In rural areas, only 13% really rent or have properties available for rental. This is really challenging when you're looking at people who literally are living off renting. So in other words, you have communities and families who are trying to rent and there, is no, there are no properties for them to rent. And in, in rural regional areas, it's, you know, houses are owned, so there's very little available to rent. Um, I suppose it really just hit me, and I suppose as well that I suppose from the travelling community, I believe it's roughly around 4,000 or so that are renting. I think there's about 8,000 households, although that not, may not be fully representative um, as has been mentioned in terms of the census, but there's roughly about 4,000 uh, families from travelling backgrounds that are renting from local authorities. So local authorities are having to provide, and that was an increase of up to about 11% from the census before. And I suppose if I can speak to my own area, there is you know, a good travelling community in Roscommon in East Galway, and I spoke to the involved youth services in Banlaslow about their concerns, and if I may mention Senator Flynn, I'm hoping that in better times we might be able to invite you to Banlaslow to speak to some really um, amazing young people there as well that are very active in the community. And um, I suppose it's really important, Senator Flynn, that you are a role model. You are a role model, and there is, in some ways, you know, that there is that importance that's going to be allocated to you in terms of your role. Um, and I suppose what I would really love to see, I suppose for all of us, we're all role models, I'd hope, but that, you know, like with the new Vice President in the States, Kamala Harris, she had a really good um, video there recently, and she spoke very well about young girls, about dreaming with ambition. And it really is about that. It's speaking to the young people in our communities, and particularly from travelling or other minority groups, to really to dream with ambition. But in that involved youth services, what they were doing is they were delivering activity packs all during the lockdown, you know, to all of these families, particularly in disadvantaged areas. And most of it was just to do with, you know, crafts and things for children to do because they weren't able to go to school during the first lockdown. But they very quickly realized that there was a huge need for food. So people were asking them for food to be included in these packs that were going out. Um, so we know that people are in really challenging circumstances. People are dropping out of education as well. So even in uh, secondary school level, they're not going as far as leaving cert. And again, that's a challenge with getting jobs. And then you add that all into the mix in terms of having housing, you know, being able to access housing, which is huge. Um, in terms of accommodation um, at the local authority level, I, ha I was a councillor in Galway County Council. Um, I know the huge pressures that are there in terms of trying to access um, the HAP scheme and just the huge queues, this huge waiting. Um, numbers of families from travelling backgrounds were in contact with me for housing and just, just very, very, very difficult. Um, I suppose I'm very happy to hear, Minister, about the consultation board that you've mentioned. It is important that all voices are heard. There have been many reports done to note that there are challenges in terms of accessing, accessing you know, travellers accessing uh, accommodation. Um, and we have to really take account of their needs, and their needs are unique. I mean, they're, they're more, you know, they are different, and we need to make sure that they're being heard, otherwise we're not going to be successful. And that's the aim of it. We have the fund there, the budget is there, and we want to ensure that families are being accommodated in the ways that they need to be. It may not be in our traditional housing estates. It may be a case that, you know, it needs to be in more open green areas. We need to take account of those needs. Um, I suppose the questions I might have for you, Minister, are just, I think it's very important that we do invest more in social workers. It's a particularly, there are very disadvantaged areas here that we're dealing with. Just what sort of funds would you have for social workers in that? And then just in terms of ongoing work, um, you know, the local authorities, from what I understand, they can only draw down when the work is complete. 
So in other words, there are a lot of work that is ongoing, um, but they couldn't draw down when it's complete. Can I just ask, with the impact of COVID, um, will those budgets be extended beyond December for local authorities to access? And also that the impact, I suppose, of COVID, they have been providing um, sanitation facilities and so on um, to groups that are in precarious housing at the moment. Um, you know, what, what other measures can be taken? Is there any other measures that you would foresee are important for us to, to do in the next number of months? Um, and just really, again, I suppose, just to end up to say just thank you to Senator Flynn for bringing it to our attention that um, I really hope to work with you in terms of that consultation group. Very happy to hear it will include all stakeholders and their voices and that we are going to try and make a concerted effort to tackle other areas of disadvantage as well as the housing area. Thank you very much.